amigos, we are The Roots. In this vlog, we are sharing with you the ups and downs of our mission to travel and experience as much from life as possible. So please join us on this our journey. So, Mr. Root, where in the world are we? On today's episode, day one of our honeymoon and almost the last day of our lives. Welcome to Socha Calco. If you watch our previous video, then you know that Brian and I tied the knot in Hawaii. So in the next eight videos, we're sharing with you our honeymoon. On this trip, we make sure we didn't forget any of our luggage. First in our bucket list, Peru. So we flew from Phoenix to Mexico for a two night stay in Cuernavaca with my sister. And from there, we flew to Lima, Peru. The first day in Mexico, the plan was to drive from Cuernavaca to the magical town of Tasco with a little stop in the archeological site of Xochicalco. What can possibly go wrong? So early in the morning, we borrow my sister's car and have breakfast on the way to Xochicalco. We arrived to Xochicalco. It was a beautiful, beautiful rainy day. It was a Wednesday. And because of that, the park was basically empty. So we had the park for ourselves. Xochicalco is a pre-Columbian archeological site located in the western part of the state of Morelos. Incorrect Nahuatl is actually called Xochicalco May meaning in the house of flowers. The main ceremonial center was selected on top of an artificially level hill. There is a huge number of residential structures placed on long terraces, several step pyramids, temples, palaces, three ball courts, some sweat parts, and an astronomical observatory, as well as many freestanding stills, all covered in stylized depictions. Interesting note, the observatory is a cave that was modified to allow the study of the sun. Sadly, we couldn't access it because it was damaged in a previous earthquake and um, they were in the process of restoration at that point. So Chicago was founded on the year 650 AD by the Olmeca Chicalancas. These were a Mayan group of traders from Campeche in the south of Mexico. Um, its location was very strategical for trading, um, as well as a religion center, as a political center, and also for defense purposes. So Chicago is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major touristic destination in Mexico. So as you can imagine, I was very eager to show Brian around. As we were walking around in the site, we befriended one of the uh, local restoration workers. And as it turns out, this guy has been working with the archeologist since 1981. Um, he talked to us about his work, what he does, and he actually did some translations of uh, the depictions in the pyramids. Very, very interesting, very knowledgeable, and such a nice, nice guy. So after he gave us a big tour around the site, um, we thanked him, did him of course, and started driving towards Tasco. And was here where things got a little shitty. Even though I spent most part of my life in this area of the country, I really never drove around in Mexico. So there are two ways to go to Tasco: the toll highway, or the old free highway. Um, the old highway is famous to be very dangerous. And please remember that this was a rainy day. Anyway, so we were driving, it was rainy, and honestly, Brian was driving no more than 40 miles an hour. Now, this highway um, reminds me a little bit the Almanfi Coast Highway. Uh, it's very curvy, and there is just cliffs on one side. So uh, it's very, very dangerous. People die in this thing. I don't think I mentioned it before, but Tasco uh, is also a heritage site. 
and it's one of those magical towns in Mexico, and it's up in a mountain, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a mining town, it's famous for its silver, and its silver crafts. And together you have to, you know, take one of those highways. So anyway, we were in the old highway, and we were in the middle of nowhere, maybe 30 miles or so before Tasco, when in a curb, out of nowhere, this van came out from nowhere and basically t us. We were so incredibly lucky um, that where the accident happened, there was some land on our right side. Otherwise, it would have pushed us to the cliff. So I was finally able to communicate with my sister. My sister communicated with the authorities in Tasco, and the federales show up to help us. Uh, needless to say that the guy that was driving the van just escaped and let us get stranded. Um, the van was also total. Anyway, so the federales took us to uh, the station from there we went to a little clinic uh, to get checked out because we needed to make sure that we didn't have any internal bleeding because we were taking a flight the next morning at four in the morning from mexico city to lima peru so apparently we were kind of okay i had two broken ribs so they say and brian only had some sort of bruising and some swelling in the left side with his neck, shoulder area. But apparently we were fine, no internal bleedings, nothing to really worry about. That was a lot of pain. Believe it or not, they just gave us Tylenol. Thank God my sister showed up to help us. So she drove us back in a borrowed car, of course, from Tasco to uh, Cuernavaca. From there, we kind of have to rearrange our luggage and then she drove us to Mexico City to be able to go to Lima the next morning. And just like that, all beat up and in pain, we took a flight the next morning to Lima. So we stick around so you find out the rest. That's it for today, you guys. Please consider subscribing, smash that bell, and know that wherever you are in the world, we wish you good health. And until next time, hasta luego, amigos.